friends, good morning. I'm just doing a little shoe maintenance. Um, this weekend, since it was warmer, um, a friend of mine had a bonfire, or whatever, um, and so my shoes got all muddy, so I have to clean them up. Clearly they are not real leather, otherwise I would not be wiping them down in the sink. But here's an annoying thing. So this little part always comes off, so I just have to hot glue it right back into the bottom there. Okay. So today is St. Patrick's Day, so I'm wearing the green glasses. I don't know if you've seen these before. I should show you all of my glasses, because I have a collection, it seems. Oh, and this clock doesn't have a battery. Hasn't had one for a while. It's there for decoration and poor timekeeping. I don't know. got my sock options for St. Patrick's Day. I think I'm going to go with this pair, but I don't know. Life's too short to match your socks, so I might wear one of each. And I'm off to work. I have to return my Rent the Runway jewelry. Um, it's funny, it's such a big bag for such a little item. But anyway, uh, they send you these free to ship it back, so that's cool. It was fun having those, so I might do that again if I have a fancy occasion. Time for work. Ooh. It's lunchtime, so I'm back in my second office. Um, <laughs> No, I actually had to come here because I need to finish the final edits on my take-home exam that is due tonight because my best laid plans of working on it a little bit each night just went to crap and I ended up doing the whole thing yesterday late at night like an idiot. Um, exactly what I tell the young people not to do. Um, anyway, so I came over to Dad's office so that I could work on it um, in peace and quiet. So. That's what I'll be doing. It just needs a little, like I just want to read through and make sure that I didn't type in anything stupid in there. Or autocorrect didn't type anything stupid on my behalf, so. Mm. Woo! My exam is looking good. I just have to print it off and bring it to class. Boot it up. Now I have to keep working. Eh. Time to go to class now. I'm running late and I'm really hungry and tired, so. Hopefully we can turn in our final and then, or our exam, and then have it be an exciting or shortened class, but I have a feeling that will not be the case. And I'm home from school. Um, I'm looking a little rough today. I don't know if it's because I'm wearing the green glasses that are just kind of different from my other ones, or if I'm just super tired because I didn't go to sleep until 2.30 because I was doing my homework or I am worse for the wear looking today. <laughs> anyway, um, class tonight was fine. So the class that I'm taking now is about cognitive behavioral therapy. And I don't know if I mentioned it before, but so your cognitive, like your cognition, your thinking affects your behaviors and the way that you act. And so if you can change your thought process, you can change your behaviors a lot of time and then overall like improve your life and whatever. Um, so today we talked specifically about a technique of challenging your thoughts that might be irrational and then looking to find evidence for it. Like if you could say um, one irrational thought would be I'm a terrible person, everybody hates me. And then so you would have to go and like find evidence that supports that and not supports it. And so, um, which actually in my life, that's the kind of therapy, this specific part of um, CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy that I practice in my own life. Um, and so I'm familiar with it and I actually like it and respond well to that. And so I thought today's class was good because we actually talked about something that I can relate to because I've done it in my life. Um, so it was good, um, even though we watched this really long, boring video, um, but, oh well. Uh, anyway, so now I'm at home, and on my way home, um, I heard this great song, and, um, cause lately, I've been struggling a little bit, um, lately, I don't, it, whatever, I have a challenging, um, doctor's appointment tomorrow to go to that I am not looking forward to, um, cause I, I had one a couple weeks ago and I got some unfortunate news and so I've been, um, sort of referred, uh, back to the main doctor instead of sort of just like the nurses and nurse practitioners and other folks that work in her office have kind of been, uh, referred back to the, to the head honcho to, which, um, to sort of reevaluate was what my, my, uh, appointment plan or whatnot said to sort of reevaluate and make, make a different choice or path or something. So I'm not looking forward 
to that at all because I kind of have this feeling that um, it might be time to go a different way than what I wanted to go. Um, anyway, so but that that's that's uh, for tomorrow. Maybe depending on how it goes, I might sort of talk about um, this situation that I'm in and kind of what's going on with that. But anyway, um, and then plus I, some other like crazy things have been going on lately. Um, and so I just sometimes I get myself all upset and then you know like for no reason or I'll become overly anxious about something or. A situation will upset me, um, and because I'm a total fan of full disclosure, uh, like if I'm upset about a situation or with a person or about, like if I feel uncomfortable about something, I don't really have a problem sort of just going to that person, and even though it might be like awkward or I'll get embarrassed that like I've behaved in a certain way or whatever, I prefer just to kind of say it to the person and then like it's out there and so, you know, we don't have to be awkward or like stupid anymore, I can just say like this is how I feel this is why, like, now you're aware, so, you know, there we go. Um, so I had one of those situations, like, I don't know, it's a lot for a Monday, but anyway, so I was, um, uh, oh, and another thing, so I get, this is all related, I probably, in, in my brain this all makes sense, but anyway, um, <laughs> so yesterday I, um, I got a fortune cookie and it said, you know, whenever one door closes and like another one opens. Um, and so I was kind of like, eh, that's so cheesy. But I was thinking, you know, in terms of like my doctor's appointment, I was like, well, let's hope, you know, that that's the case. Um, but tonight, uh, while I was driving home, I heard this song um, and it said, uh, God put a million doors in the world so that his love could walk through. And I thought that that was really cool because then you can see it as... Um, and yes, I listen to the Christian radio station because uh, I love it. Um, like, instead of seeing these doors as, like, barriers or something that's stopping you from something, like, you can look at it kind of as an opportunity um, for, like, love to come into your life. Uh, so, I thought that was kind of good. I thought that was a... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cry. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Um, anyway, so I thought that was... That was pretty good. <laughs> Well, I hope that you all had a less dramatic day than I did. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to giggle now because I started to cry. Um, anyway, so I'll just see you guys later. Bye.